Well, isn't this nice? Welcome everyone to... What the hell was that? Welcome everyone to... <laughs> that was a weird scene. So welcome everyone to Race Room. And I know you can't hear any music. Because for some reason, they decided to add a fucking orchestral piece into this game. I don't, I don't know why, but, you know, it is what it is. So, you'll see what I mean. It's like so dramatic. Anyway. So what I was trying to say is, I was looking around for race games, right? Like, fuck, where, where is that need for speed feeling? Burnout, um, fucking Gran Turismo, I guess. I didn't really play that much. But yeah, so I was looking for that, and I found this uh, free-to-play game. So before I go, I want to, you know, be honest, it's, uh, I played this like for two days straight so i know a couple tracks but i don't really know them but i know them a little bit um so i played online a little bit but you know i'm playing with a uh you know uh xbox controller by the way also check the snack face down here because i'm still not on my new location once i'm in my new location we'll have a camera set up okay so I played this game, and I have to say, man, it feels really weird, man. Like, it, it tries to be a little bit too realistic. And, um... I'm so used to, you know, drifting and fucking, you know, NOS, Nitro shit. And when I saw this in here, by the way, I'm using this BMW because fuck... This one is super fast, and I really like the handling in it. Uh, yeah, so. And the way they tell you to play is like, I don't know, like a, a little bit too realistic. You know what I mean? Like you have to slow down here. See that? Like, I, I if I would have been on Need for Speed, I would have fucking, you know? Fuck! No! So if I was on Need for Speed, I would have drifted around these areas, right? You would have seen me fucking drift. And there is like a small bit of drifting here, but like not really. Just to get tight corners, I guess, but not not a full-on drift. All you have, all you do, is you uh, drive faster, slow down. You slow down, drive faster, slow down. Maybe that was the um, intention of this game, trying to be too realistic, I don't know, but um, it, it feels off, you know what I mean? And I'm trying to find a good online racing game, because I fucking love racing games, like I'm gonna be honest, I fucking love, I, I've been grown up with uh, Need for Speed and shit, F-Zero. Uh, I be I used to play a lot with my cousin, and of course online games. Um, and you guys have seen me do a couple speed runs on F Zero, but those are anti gravity games. I'm talking about normal racing game here, like this. So I, I played Need for Speed Hard Pursuit, Need for Speed Underground, you know Underground Two, Most Wanted, Carbon. I think around Car Carbon is where I stopped. And I started again with t twenty. 12 and Need for Speed didn't really feel the same again after that. And oh no, I played Rivals too. Need for Speed Rivals. Too. Rivals was a great game, man. I fucking love Rivals. So yeah, I mean, uh, if you want to go on to like graphic and the visuals here, it actually looks super dope. Not gonna lie, Race Room looks really cool, super dope. Uh, but. You know, 
if there is no mechanic, I, I couldn't give a shit about how it looks, you know what I'm saying? And not all the people will look like, oh dude, you know, this is just how racing is in like real life or whatever. And then they try to like implement, impl like try to simulate that or whatever. Um, yeah, but I'm not feeling it, you know what I'm saying? And then the people be like, dude, you know, it's not your game. Alright, fine. So, I guess I should just ask around, like, am I doing something wrong though? Maybe there is a proper drifting way. I have watched some clips from people playing this and um, I haven't really seen uh, drifting there either, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. And I have to say, I really like the idea of them, like, slapping all sorts of cars together, you know? Uh, Formula One, uh, all your old cars, uh, all the different models of racing, you know, racing cars, which is super dope, actually. I like the uh, concept of that. I just wish there was, you know, a game where you can actually drift. <laughs> Look at that. I'm fucking up. There's no handbrake. There's only slowing down. And I've seen the couple the couple videos I've seen. That's all it has been, you know. Um, you slow down on curves. You don't do it the handbrake shit, right? Like you can even see the NPCs drive like that. So you slow down on corners, and uh, yeah, there's that. So also another thing is I know this is a free-to-play game, but like goddamn. The first thing I noticed was, bro, purchasable cars, okay. And Formula One cars are behind the paywall. So, like, what the fuck, man? Come on, I, like, I wanted to experience, if it would be like, hey, okay, this kind of Formula One car, you know, is behind the paywall, like different skins, whatever. But no, you can't drive an actual F1 car here without purchasing it. I'm like, why, dude? Ah, see, that kind of shit is annoying. Oh, look at that bitch. Slow down, man. That BMW? Shit. And then F1. My car is slow as fuck. Oh, shit. Dude. So here it is. Not owned, owned. And even with owned ones, it says you you own these, but like, still these ones are, you know, fucking three euros, pay, pay in euro, fucking pay that, pay that, pay that, everything, you can uh, drive us these, but everything else, even though it says you own these, you know, everything else down here, that's a lot of cars. Everything is behind a paywall. I can't drive a fucking... Look at that shit. That looks so dope. You know, let me drive that shit. Come on, man. Ah, uh, yeah. So, there is that. Okay. And... All I gotta say is... Uh, while it looks good... Not really a game for me. But uh, there's also, like, sometimes there is this catch, okay? There's this catch, even though you slow down in these corners. It's still cool, because, like, you, ha you can have, like, what? What was it? 40, 30 players? In a, uh, maybe even more. In a, in a uh, lobby. And that's what I was aiming for when I looked at this game. I tried to find a racing game with a lot of players in, okay? Like, that's what I want to see. But, obviously this ain't need for speed, so you can't really do drifting. See, I have to like slow down here, it's so... I feel so wrong, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> for me at least. I feel so wrong. Slowing down there. So... I don't know, I might give this a try. Although I have to say, I have to admit, I, wa I checked out some servers here 
And it doesn't look like the game is... I might be wrong and people might hate me for saying that, but... It doesn't look like the game is super popular lately. You know what I mean? Because... I'm seeing like five players. And there's like four or five active servers and they have like five, six players max. Maybe it's a time zone thing, I don't know. Although I did play it on American times and European times. So I don't know what the targeted audience is, if, if it is active. Um, ah, see that? Oh my god! So yeah, all in all, race room, while it looked like an interesting concept. Um, you know. What is this competition? Gold class. I want to go back. So let's see. Uh, it's like what? 7 a.m. or something here? Uh, so it should have, like, you know, American Times. Zero players. Right. I, I think I have every. Like, it shows even private and closed sessions. I don't see. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we have a couple players. Four. One, one, four. Ah, okay, just for the sake of showing you guys the multiplayer experience. Uh, oh, it's only these two are allowed, huh? By the way, this one is super funny. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. I don't want to... Okay, you know what? Just for you guys, I'm going to drive one. Like this. Okay. So just to see the multiplayer experience. So I went through something. Dude, look at that. I'm driving a fucking go-kart. <laughs> so what I checked was the uh, multiplayer th uh, reading thing told me. Said something like, uh, enable ranked servers. Only ranked. But I mean, you can see ranked servers too. Yo, wait, wait, wait. These ones, these ones are actually drifting now. No, they're not. So, and then uh, to, to join, like, start your racing career to join daily and weekly events. But, like, what? Does that mean, does that mean uh, you just unlock servers over time? Is that what it is? I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. Ah, uh, shit. Dropping like shit. But yeah. So yeah, guys, um... I, I, what I'm looking for is to find a racing game that has like a whole esports behind it. You know what I mean? Oh my god, dude. Okay, I'm done with this. I'm done with this game. God damn it, dude. So you guys tell me, if you have like a, you know... If you're like, hey, look, this is the explanation of how this game works. And, well, our real racers, you know, play this in, like, cabins. Maybe in cabinets with an actual steering wheel. This might be interesting. I don't know. But, yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm looking for a game that could get me into, like, an esports type of racing game you know racing you know the regular need for speed Gran Turismo whatever and I heard Gran Turismo 7 is uh, popular and Forza Horizon 5 Forza Horizon 5 looks interesting the concept of like you know driving all different sorts of cars and then different sort of landmarks and open world which is also interesting but if I remember um, it's it, it's what, again, one of those games that doesn't have, like, that drift feeling that Need for Speed and other games gave. You know what I mean? Drifting around corners. And I find that kind of sad. It's it's like uh, it's like how anti-gravity games over time tried to, like, copy that. 
and all you got was like no proper drifting but like tight as you know slowing down and shit like that um but yeah i'm looking for a game like that i don't know man racing race room maybe i'm not seeing the sessions you know i'm not seeing the servers that have a lot of players or maybe the game really died and there's just a small community left uh that there's some events now and then i guess um but yeah anyways guys thanks so much for watching as always don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and i'll see you on the next video i guess we've got a couple videos coming a couple content freelancer content is back by the way uh we have been playing nomad fighter uh campaign and we'll do a battleship uh campaign we'll diff try different mods out so be stay tuned for that all right guys i'll see you in the next video bye bye